So what I have here is a copy of my student's thesis, Li Chang, in which we studied the very large waves in the South China Sea. Now these are not ordinary waves. These are not waves on the sea surface, but they're waves deep beneath the surface. Nonlinear internal waves, we'll call them. Internal, because they're not on the surface, they're down below, and they're waves not between air and water, but between warm water and cold water. So here we have the mainland Chinese coast, and then uh, Taiwan, and down here the Philippines, Luzon. Beneath the surface there are ridges, like mountain ridges. Now, when this strong tidal current I'll represent it here with this arrow, first in one direction and then in the other, moves this water, it generates these large waves between the warm and the cold water. So think of these waves then as uh, being something like this. This is the ocean surface and here is, uh, do it in different color, a boundary between the warm surface water and the colder water and there is a wave. Notice that it only points downwards, that's one of the features of these particular kinds of waves when they're in deep water. And down here we'll have the sea floor. So, what we did was to use an instrument that uh, was first conceived and tested by Tom Rosby many years ago and it's very simple it sends an acoustic pulse from the seafloor up to the surface and back down again. And here's the instruments sitting on the seafloor and its pulse comes up like this and then it's reflected. And the echo comes down and is detected by the instrument. So just by tracking the time it takes for the acoustic pulse to get to the surface and back down again we can actually track this internal wave as it passes over our instrument. And it may well be that the productivity in the South China Sea, which is very high indeed, is high in part because of the contribution of these waves. So they're stirring up deep water with nutrients, moving it into the surface zone where light is available and photosynthesis can take place and that's the basis of productivity in the ocean.